Why hello everybody, and you can obviously tell that my setup's a little different now. I'm sitting in front of my green screen. Uh, that's because my computer setup is a disaster, so I didn't want to show that in the video. But today, we are going to be looking at Nintendo's new mini NES. Let's check it out! <laughs> So if you didn't know, Nintendo was releasing a new console. It's not really new, it's more of like a re-release anniversary sort of thing. It is the Nintendo Mini NES. It comes preloaded with 30 different games, which is pretty awesome, but in my opinion, I'm kind of upset about the fact that it's not internet connected. So I can't ever put any more games on it, but for 60 bucks, I really couldn't go wrong. It pretty much has all the classics that you've come to know and love. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with all the Mega Mans, but I think six Mega Man games on one system would be a bit of overkill. Not to mention we have the Mega Man Anniversary Collection on pretty much every system you can think of. So I'm not too bent out of shape over that. Plus, it's Mega Man 2. Who doesn't love Mega Man 2? I love Mega Man 2. It's fantastic. So some of the cool things that are about this system now is that it's powered through a micro USB rather than powered through its own proprietary power brick, allowing it for much more universal powering. So if you ever lose a micro USB, you can always just pick another one up and it comes with its own little power brick. It also comes with its own HDMI cable, so you never have to worry about having mono audio anymore. Now, no, this does not mean that they went back and re-stereo mastered every song and every little sound effect in every game. It just means that now you'll actually have the audio put out to both the left and the right channel rather than just the one singular channel. But you didn't come here to hear about the specs. Let's unbox this bad boy. I think what I find most satisfying about all of this is how small it is, how lightweight it is. I really didn't anticipate it being about a pound. And then the controller feels just like the original. It's fantastic. And I, I was actually really surprised at how nostalgic it felt. And the cool thing about this is it's no longer the original NES proprietary one. It's actually the Wiimote adapter. The only problem is the cable is only like four feet long. So that's kind of obnoxious. But you can use it with your Wiimote. So you can play it on your Wii if anybody plays a Wii anymore. Or the Wii U. So that's really nice. I think what Nintendo was going for here, though, was that it wasn't supposed to be played on a big TV. It was supposed to be played on a smaller monitor or a smaller HD TV because the power cable, the HDMI cable, and the controller cable are all really short. So I think it's supposed to have that nostalgic feeling of sitting right up close and personal to your TV just like the good old days. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find this to be really enjoyable because now you never have to worry about, oh, is the cartridge going to misfire? Is the game not going to work this time? No, you just turn it on, you select the game, and you go. You never got to worry about it anymore. And for me, I think 60 bucks is a great steal for this system. So make sure you go out and pick one up if they're still available because these things are going to sell like hotcakes. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. See you around.